Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. In the previous session, we discussed using crop coverage, counter, and raster zonal statistics functions in Joe server. In this session, we will examine how to use process chaining to implement complex WPS workflows via Postman. For more information, watch the rest of this video. Postman is a powerful API development tool that simplifies the creation, testing, and documentation of HTTP requests and APIs. It enables seamless interaction with Joe Server's RESTful API for essential Joe special operations, including creating and updating data, deleting and retrieving layers, optimizing project workflows. Integrating Postman with Joe Server facilitates the development of web services and improves debugging and testing processes. Users can efficiently send requests to API endpoints, analyze responses, and verify the functionality of their web services. In addition, Postman's user-friendly interface enhances collaboration among team members by facilitating the sharing and documentation of API endpoints, which simplifies the development of Joe special applications. Getting started with Postman. After installing and logging into Postman, the first step is to create a new workspace to organize your projects effectively. Follow these steps. Click on the workspace menu on the left hand side, then press the create workspace button. In the create new workspace window, the blank workspace option is selected by default. Click the next button to continue. Enter a name for your workspace such as Joe Server API for easy identification. Click the create button to complete the process. To create a collection in your workspace, click the new button and select collection from the menu. Enter a name for the collection, such as WPS underline subprocess. Your collection is now ready to organize and manage your API requests. To add a request to your collection, click the Add Request link. Enter a name for the request, such as Service Chain. Select posts from the HTTP methods drop down, then enter the URL for your service endpoint. Configure the request details by clicking on the body menu and selecting the raw option. Press the Save button to store the request in the collection for easy access. Using subprocess mode in Joe Server. In previous sessions, various inputs for WPS processes were introduced. This session focuses on implementing advanced Joe Special Analysis capabilities using subprocess mode. As an example, we will identify which roads in the SF Cullen Roads layer are located within 1 km of a Prairie site in the SF Cullen Arc Sites layer. To implement this, first download and install Joe Server 2.27.x or later, then add the WPS extension. Here is a detailed breakdown of the process. Step 1. Query the Prairie site. Open Joe Server and navigate to the demos page. Select the WPS Request Builder 2. Choose GS Colon Query from the Choose Process drop down menu. In the Input Feature Collection section, keep the default vector layer mode and select SF Colon Arch Sites. In the filter section, set subtype CQL in the text mode. Then enter str1 equal pre-reside in the text by section. Set 
Select Application slash JSON format from the Process Output section. Then press the Execute Process in New Page button. The results will be displayed on the screen. For better visualization, we will display the results on the JoJSON.io web page. As you can see, we have queried the query site located in the ArcSites layer. Step 2. Create a buffer zone. In the WPS Request Builder, select GS column buffer feature collection from the Choose Process drop-down menu. Select Subprocess Mode as the Input Feature Collection and click the Define slash Edit link. Choose GS Calend Query from the drop down menu. For the input feature collection, keep vector layer and select the SF colon ArcSites layer from the drop down menu. In the filter section, set subtype SQL in the text mode, then enter str1 equal pre-reside in the text box. Press the apply button. Enter buffer distance corresponding to the CRS of the ArcSites layer, for example 1000 meters. Select application slash JSON as the output format and click the Execute Process in New Page button. The result will appear on the screen. Go back to the JoJSON.io webpage. As you can see, we have created a buffer zone around the prairie site feature in the ArcSites layer. Step 3 Intersect Layers In the WPS Request Builder, select GS Colon Intersection Feature Collection from the Choose Process drop down menu. For the first feature collection, keep vector layer mode and choose the SF column roads layer. For the second feature collection, select subprocess mode and click the define slash edit link. Choose GS column buffer feature collection from the drop down menu. For the input feature collection, select subprocess again and click the define slash edit link. Select GS column query from the drop down menu. For the input feature collection, keep vector layer mode and choose the SF column arc sites layer. In the filter section, set subtype SQL and enter str1 equal prairie side in the text box. Press the apply button. Input a distance value matching the series of ArcSites layer. For this example, enter 1000 meters and press the apply button again.
Set the output format to application slash JSON and click the generate XML from process input slash outputs button. Finally, copy the XML code into Postman and click Send to execute. The result will appear in the response section. To better visualize the results, return to the joejson.io page. This identifies the routes that are located within a 1 km buffer zone surrounding the previous site feature in the SF colon arc sites layer. When you create and send requests in Postman, you can easily generate code snippets in various programming languages such as JavaScript, Python, or Java. This feature saves time, reduces errors, and ensures that requests are easily adapted for different environments, promoting rapid and accurate development. As you can see, existing code can be converted to other programming languages, enhancing flexibility and usability across diverse platforms. In this session, we discuss how to use the process chaining to implement complex WPS workflows via Postman. To learn more about how to use the raster analysis in Joe's server, we recommend watching the suggested videos. Have a good time!